so very good afternoon to all the students of class 10th d yes beta uh, only one topic was left for the revision uh, when uh, we recently completed our syllabus and only one topic was left that was direct indirect speech though we have done it in first term but we have not revised yet so uh, you know to get it on to go through all the basic rules if you have uh, you know not done it earlier so from beginning from a we will be starting like the basic rules and then changes of pronouns and tenses and interrogatives and then imperatives okay otherwise in your syllabus when you see it is written that imperative interrogatives and statements and tenses fine so that is part of your syllabus but before that do you have to go through the basic rules because i have seen there are many students they are not able to change direct into indirect fine so please ask your friends to join if they are really willing to learn this direct indirect speech okay because i i see less number of students today otherwise there are many but today very less number of students have joined 15 16 only so i have already put up a message also let's see it's their loss if they are not coming so let's start the revision beta can you see the screens direct indirect speech okay fine so first of all what is direct speech and what is indirect speech the direct spoken words fine the words spoken by a person can be reported in two ways direct and indirect when we quote the exact words spoken by a person then we call it direct speech agar aapko वर्ड में यूज करूं रिपोर्टेड स्पीच नरेशन डायरेक्ट इंडेक्ट स्पीच वन एंड सेम थिंग ओके सो व्हेन वी जस्ट नरेट द वर्ड्स ऑफ समवन डायरेक्टली सोहन सेड टू मोहन आई एम गोइंग टू स्कूल फाइन एग्जैक्ट वर्ड्स अगर बोले तो दैट इज अ दैट इज द एग्जांपल ऑफ डायरेक्ट स्पीच ओके बट व्हेन वी गिव द सब्सटेंस ऑफ द वर्ड्स स्पोकन बाय सम पर्सन फाइन वी चेंज इट एज पर आवर कन्वीनियंस और ही सेड दैट ही विल गो एंड ऑल दैट स्टफ but when we give the substance of what sohan said it is called the indirect speech these are not the uh, directly spoken words of someone okay so this is the difference of uh, direct and indirect speech is it clear the very basic thing the way we teach your class 6th and 5th i guess so starting from that level you keep on sending me responses is it clear what is direct and what is indirect and then i will move to next phase that is reporting clause and reported speech now what is a reporting clause or what is reported speech in very simple words see main aapko ek example dikhati hu see this is one sentence written fine i said to him fine this is reporting clause whatever is written before inverted commas this is reporting clause okay and whatever is written within inverted commas this is reported speech okay speech are the spoken words of someone so whatever is written within inverted commas that is reported speech so do not get confused if i will be using the words reported speech or reporting verb or reporting clause okay so this is reporting clause as well as we use reporting verb also kyunki ye jo said to said told asked jo bhi bahar likha hota hai na before inverted commas these all are called reporting verbs okay ye sab reporting verbs hai which i am highlighting you can see theek hai ye reporting verbs hoti hai aur ye pura ka pura jo hota hai this one is reporting clause is that clear what is reporting clause and what is reported speech clear hai sabko fine chaliye ab next is after knowing what is reporting verb what is reported speech we have to go through the rules now step 3 theek hai aapki grammar book hai you have grammar book in that group uh, book all the rules are written so you need to go through and learn them fine rules for changing direct speech into indirect speech these are the basic rules firstly okay we have not switched to tenses yet okay so firstly let me tell you that when we change direct speech into indirect speech no inverted commas okay we have to drop inverted commas firstly second rule is 
the conjunctions that if whether are generally used after the reporting verb ab aapko pata lag gaya what is reporting verb he said that he said if he said whether means whatever is there before commas after that we have to join two sentences now we have to join reporting clause and reported speech together and these are the conjunctions what is the work of a conjunction to join together to join together two phrases or sentences so yahan pe kaun si conjunctions use hoti hai sabse pehle 80% to that use hota hai right that but in the cases of if and whether when do we use if and whether in the case of interrogative sentences fine in which we ask a question clear so these three conjunctions are basically used to join reporting clause and reported speech ab sabko pata lag gaya whenever i'm using the word reporting clause and what is reported speech clear now next is the first word of the reported speech begins with the capital letter that we all know the tense of the reporting verb is never changed means whatever is written let me show you ye kya rule keh raha hai ye whatever is written here he said yahan pe he said hi aayega suppose yahan pe he says hota even then he says if he will say he will say, means whatever is written before inverted commas whatever tense is used the same tense will be there in the answer you cannot change the tense before inverted commas jo reporting clause ka tense hota hai that remains the same is that clear to you all this rule fine before inverted commas whatever tense is used here that remains the same in the answer as well that you cannot change at all okay next is that rules of change of pronouns we have to change pronouns as well find how the pronouns are changed that let's have a look he said i like the book he said that he liked the book so pronoun i is changed to he because we are talking about this person's speech okay he said that he liked the book so yahan pe she hota to she said that she liked the book jia hota to jia said that fine she liked the book whatever name or pronoun is given accordingly you have to change he said to me do you like the book he asked me if i like the book full stop fine i am just i'm not discussing interrogative abhi hum the, the students who have joined now beta <coughs> Uh, we will be revising the rules of interrogative and imperative sentences but before that again we are revising the basic concept of reported speech okay he said he likes the book he said that he liked the book so i am just telling you about the pronoun that whatever pronoun is here accordingly we will change the inside pronoun fine that is very easy rule now this is the thing that you have to learn again the table is already given In your grammar book, clear? Your table given here. This, that, these, those, now, then, here, there, today, that day, tomorrow, the next day, yesterday, the previous night, last night, the previous night, can, could, may, might, shall, should, will, would, ago, before, just, then, come, go. Always remember the models. Change it into their past form of the models. Fine. Can, could, may, might. The models जो है past form ले लेते हैं. clear so that you have to learn this table then we have beta change in tenses this is the major part now this is the thing that you need to learn ye major part aapka aa gaya let's have a look please carry your pen and pencil with you simple present changes to simple past i will be telling you the verb forms also side by side so please note down v1 changes to v2 in very simple words fine means verb first form of verb changes to second form of verb if in direct speech is it clear we are going to change this jo ye iski baat ho rahi hai iski 
वट एवर इज रिटर्न विद इन इनवर्टेड कॉमर्स उसके टेंसेस चेंज करने हैं हमने पहले वाले के नहीं आई टोल्ड यू ना सतीश विल से अगर बाहर है देन इट विल रिमेन सतीश विल से इन दी आंसर एज वेल ये टेंस आप बिल्कुल चेंज नहीं कर सकते हो यू कैन नॉट चेंज इट एट ऑल अगर बाहर सतीश सेज है यू विल राइट सतीश सेज ओनली ओके बट चेंज ऑफ टेंस इज अप्लाई टू विद इन इनवर्टेड इनवर्टेड कॉमर्स अब नाउ यू हैव टू चेंज इज एम आर चेंजेस टू फाइन बिकॉज दिस इज और एक और रूल है बेटा वेन सेज इज रिटर्न सिंपल प्रेजेंट टेंस इज यूज हेयर देन देर इज नो नीड टू चेंज द टेंस हेयर एज वेल देर इज अनदर रूल दैट इज नॉट मैंशन हेयर Satish says that he is flying a kite. Otherwise, is M R changes to was were. ये देखो, is M R changes to was were होता है. But when बाहर आपका present लगाओ, simple present, then there is no change of tense inside the inverted commas as well. Okay, this rule you have to remember. Clear? So Even बाहर अगर will से लगा होगा, and simple present they have used here simple present they have used here when you need to change it when said is written here past tense is written here then we need to make all these changes to ye wala sara change big change kab aayega jab bahar past form lagi hogi yahan pe okay ye understood <coughs> now let's do the rules simple present changes to simple past means v1 changes to v2 Simple uh, present progressive means present continuous tense. Okay, is M R V one plus I N G that changes to was were V one plus I N G. Present perfect changes to past perfect. Present perfect means has or have plus V three. You know, you have example written. Na, you have written the whole rule. Has or have plus V three changes to had plus V three. सिंपल पास्ट सिंपल पास्ट मीन वी टू वी टू अगर लगाओ दैट इज वर्ब की सेकेंड फॉर्म दैट चेंजेस टू हैड प्लस वी थ्री पास्ट कॉन्टिन्यूस और पास्ट प्रोग्रेसिव टेंस वन एंड सेम थिंग वॉज वर्ब प्लस वी वन प्लस आई एन जी दैट चेंजेस टू हैड बीन वी वन प्लस आई एन जी ओके वॉज वर्ब वी वन प्लस आई एन जी जब लगा होगा तो उसको आपने हैड बीन में चेंज करना दैट यू हैव टू रिमेम्बर इज एम आर चेंजेस टू वॉज वर प्लस वी वन प्लस आई एन जी अगर ऑलरेडी वॉज वर प्लस वी वन आई एन जी लगा होगा तो हैड बीन प्लस वी वन प्लस दैट यू हैव टू लर्न ओके ऑल द टेबल्स आर गिवन इन योर ग्रामर बुक दैट यू नीड टू रिवाइज नाउ देर इज वन मोर रूल इफ द डायरेक्ट स्पीच एक्सप्रेस इज अ हिस्टोरिकल फैक्ट यूनिवर्सल ट्रूथ और अबिचुअल फैक्ट the tense of the direct speech will not change okay means see what is historical fact the first world war was started in 1940 now nobody can decline this this is the historical fact the first world war started in 1940 so it isme koi tense change nahi karoge aap the teacher said that was conjunction ad ki The first World War started in 1940. You just copy pasted. आपने करा क्या बस? Conjunction that add की. Inverted commas remove कर दिए. That's it. Nothing is there. So this is very easy. Whenever historical fact will be given or universal truth. What are the universal truth? He said sun rises in the east. अब ये universal phenomena है. Earth revolves around the sun. Sun rises in the east. Such kind of things are universal phenomena that nobody can decline. A universal truth is such. Hai. So in that case as well, you will not change the tense inside. So your work is easy. Ho jata. Yahan pe change of tense apply hi nahi hota under. He said the sun rises in the east. He said that the sun rises in the east. Okay. So is it clear to you all, beta? Historical fact ho gaya. यूनिवर्सल फिनोमिना हो गया फाइन और हैबिचुअल फैक्ट हैबिचुअल एक्शन कौन से होते हैं राकेश सेड आई एम एन अर्ली राइजर ये उसकी हैबिट है दैट आई वेक अप अर्ली सो आई एम एन अर्ली राइजर राकेश सेड दैट ही इज एन अर्ली राइजर देखो इज एम आर लगा हुआ है वैसे वो टेंस कहता है कि यू हैव टू चेंज इज एम आर इन टू See, rule says this, but in this case, because this is habitual action, 
so that's why there is no need to change anything is mr remains is mr only okay i am an early riser but pronouns will change rakesh said that conjunction bhi lagegi pronouns bhi change hoenge but tense change nahi hoega rakesh said that he is an early riser so is it clear to you all this rule should be clear make sure then i will take you further yes beta send me your responses is it clear what is the universal truth habitual faction or historical fact okay fine let's see now we will be abhi aapka easy to complex hone wala hai we are just doing very easy thing now let's change move to difficult things now dheere dheere aapka abhi difficulty lagne lagega now next is changing statements into direct speech said to if your reporting verb will be said to you will write told or replied or remarked okay depending upon the statement so said to changes to told bas ye yaad rakhiye whenever said to is together he said to ram he told ram fine in that way you will change <coughs> rest of the things are same only ramu said i saw a lion in the forest ramu said that he had seen a lion in the forest you changed the tense as well satish said to me i am very happy here satish told me that he was very happy there ठीक है प्रोनाउंस यू आर चेंजिंग ही सेड आई कैन डू दिस वर्क ही सेड दैट ही कुड डू दैट वर्क रेनू सेड टू मी आई वाज वॉशिंग द क्लोथ्स रेनू टोल्ड मी दैट शी हैड बीन वॉशिंग द क्लोथ्स फुल स्टॉप शी सेड आई एम नॉट वेल शी सेड दैट शी वाज नॉट वेल ही सेड टू सीता आई हैव पास द टेस्ट ही टोल्ड सीता ही हैड पास्ड द टेस्ट वेरी सिंपल स्टेटमेंट्स बेटा I said to my friends, he has been working very hard. I told my friend that he had been working very hard. Very simple. My friend said to me, I shall go to Delhi tomorrow. My friend told me that he would go to Delhi the next day. Fine. Tomorrow changes to the next day. I said, I agree to what he said. I said that I agreed to what he had said. Simple, I know. The student said to the teacher, I am sorry that I am late. The student told the teacher that he was sorry that he was late. these are the general statements very easy ones now comes the tough part what is required here because you are not able to fetch marks in this particular area that is rules for change of interrogative means the questions sentences the sentences in which question is posed they are called interrogative sentences please be very very particular about the rules of this thing क्योंकि ये स्पेसिफिकली आपके सिलेबस में मेंशन है पैराग्राफ फॉर्म में आएंगे नॉट इन द फॉर्म ऑफ सेंटेंसेस फर्स्ट एंड फॉरमोस्ट इज रिपोर्टिंग वर्ब से इज चेंज्ड इनटू आस्क और इनक्वायर फाइन बिकॉज इट इज अ क्वेश्चन सो यू हैव टू कन्वर्ट दिस रिपोर्टिंग वर्ब इनटू आस्क्ड इनक्वायर्ड एटसेट्रा ठीक है the interrogative sentence is changed into a statement very important bacche kya karte hain ki whatever question is asked usko question hi rehne dete hain but no we have to make it a statement fine like this you just see one example i said to him where are you going i asked him where he was going full stop humne remove kar dena question mark we will remove inverted commas we will remove comma we will remove question mark as well we will make it a statement clear means we have to put full stop at the end of interrogative sentences also while changing them now very very important thing okay mahak i ask you do you like coffee yes mahak answer it do you like coffee mahak yes i like Do you like coffee? Yes, I like, ma'am. Yes. So Mehak said yes. So I asked the question in which answer will be either yes or no. 
fine so when i will be asking you such questions whose answer will be uh, either yes or no in that case we use if or whether theek hai aise questions jiska answer ya to yes hoga ya no hoga in that case if or whether use hota hai not in any other case okay see one example he said to me will you go there iska answer kya hai ya to bolega yes i will go no i will not go so yes or no ho gaya he asked me if i would go there rest of the things will same fine will change to would clear and uh, question mark is removed uh, statement is made here but you have to apply either yahan pe agar aap likh do na he asked me whether i go i would go there wo bhi correct hai if or whether both are correct is it clear this rule to you all that if yes or no questions will be there you have to use if or whether okay now let me tell you wh questions if there will be interrogative sentences which has a wh word means who when where how why etc means as a question in which you have to give answer fine where are you going like this ye dekhiye ye first hi hai ab is question ka answer agar main aapse puchu where are you going what are you doing you will say i am attending class answer is neither in yes nor in no okay in this you have to speak the answer ki okay yes no wala nahi hai so what they are saying you will use the same wh word whatever word they have used in this here you answer may be wahi aayega i asked him where he was going fine rest of the tenses वैसे ही चेंज होने हैं बस the thing is that said to changes to asked i asked him where ka where hi rahega because pronoun changes to he is am are changes to was were where he was going full stop okay my friend said to deepak have you ever been to agra my friend asked deepak if he had ever been to agra इसका आंसर भी यस नो है लेट्स गो थ्रू द ऑल द सेंटेंसेस आई सेड टू हिम डिड यू एंजॉय द मूवी आई आस्क्ड हिम इफ ही हैड एंजॉयड द मूवी बेटा ये समझ में आ रहा है आप सबको फाइन इफ लग गया यहां पे इफ ही हैड व्हाई हैड बिकॉज़ डिड डिड चेंजेस टू हैड प्लस v3 बाकी के टेंसेस सेम है एंड एट द एंड यू विल बी राइटिंग फुल स्टॉप आई सेड टू हर डू यू नो हिम आई आस्क्ड हर इफ शी न्यू हिम he said to me will you listen to me he asked me if i would listen to him will change to would he i said to him when will you go there i asked him when he would go there full stop he said to me how is your father he asked me how my father was but now please note down such kind of questions you forget where what is the position of was there आप पता कैसे लिखते हो ही आस्ट मी हाउ वॉज माई फादर नो दैट इज टू बी रिटर्न एट दी एंड ही आस्ड मी हाउ माई फादर वॉज आई सेट टू हिम आर यू हैप्पी आई आस्ड हिम इफ आई इफ ही वॉज हैप्पी ही सेट टू हर डू यू लाइक एप्पल्स ही आस्ड हर इफ शी लाइक एप्पल्स okay if or whether in case of yes i hope interrogative rules are clear to you all please respond immediately okay yes now we will be revising this is also part of your syllabus changing commands and requests okay whenever any order is given or any request is made That is another segment of your reported speech. So basically, इसमें से आपको आना है. What is imperative sentences in which commands, orders, requests are made? Those sentences are known as imperative sentences. What we have to do in imperative sentences? हमें imperative mood को infinitive mood बनाना है. How we can do this infinitive mood by adding to into it? 
always remember whenever you will get imperative sentences order command request such kind of sentences open the window attack the enemy listen to me attentively please give me a glass of water ring the bell koi order given ho ya request made ho command ki ho so in such kind of cases you have to use t o 2 infinitive okay to aapko apni imperative ko infinitive banana hai before the verb you have to use to clear let's have a look she said to me open the window so this is an order please what to use in you yahan pe please open the window to to request ho jata she ordered me to open the window the captain said to the soldiers attack the enemy the captain commanded the soldiers to attack the enemy the teacher said to students listen to me attentively the teacher asked the students to listen to him attentively okay so these are based on this okay that's it we have revised it now i will be sending you one passage in the whatsapp group okay that you have to solve in your fair notebook okay with this your work is complete on monday roll number 1 to 25 and on tuesday roll number 26 to 48 will bring the notebooks complete in all respects properly covered with name slip class roll number with index properly made if your index will not be there your notebooks will not be checked make sure okay